Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is what Neigong actually is. Okay, um, the mo more common term that we hear is Qigong, okay, which means uh, energetic work or breath work. Um, Neigong actually means inner work. Um, the Chinese arts were separated into Waigong, which is external work, and Neigong, which is internal work. So uh, the, the Shaolin monks, for instance, they would do uh, Waigong primarily to build up the muscle mass. The Taoists would be doing Neigong, which is working on specific attributes, slightly different to the Waigong external attributes. So the term Neigong literally means inner work. Um, <clears throat> the the uh, Chinese inter uh, martial arts were separated into Waigong or external arts, uh, so, sorry, uh, Waija uh, or external arts and uh, Neija. Um, the inner family, uh, which, which consisted of the methods of Tai Chi, a very, very well-known exercise and martial art, uh, Xing Yi and Bagua. There were other ones around, the, around those, those three most famous ones, uh, Xing Yi, Le, all these, different, uh, these other different arts. But all of them are characterized by the fact that they have in their syllabus somewhere a, a portion of Neigong training. Okay, so inner work training. And that's what sort of differentiated them from the, the uh, Shaolin methods or the external methods, which, which focus much more on hardening the body. So uh, the, the term Negong means inner work. It's an old Taoist term. Okay, so the old Taoists would uh, train their internal uh, strength and things like that. Uh, it comes from old China. But what is it? Um, that's sort of the, the main uh, question that everyone asks. Uh, everyone's normally heard of Qigong, okay? But Neigong is slightly different. Uh, it's, it, it's an older term than Qigong. Qigong is actually a fairly, re fairly recent term. Um, so Neigong is, is a method of training, so not to be confused with pure meditation, static uh, meditation training. Um, it is a method of uh, body work, um, but it also is a method of training the intent. Okay, when you perform the Neigong methods, um, you have to be there in the moment. You can't be thinking of other things because the uh, the method will be just less practical if you're not actually focused on the on the method at hand. So we train the intent to be on the moment, be on the movement. Okay, so we we are infusing our movement with our mind. Uh, we work on the breath. In Neigong practice, there are specific trainings whereby you uh, hold the breath, you push the breath out, you uh, adjust the timing of the three different breath cycles, the in, the out, and the pause phase. But for this course, we are going to focus on natural breathing. Uh, in the internal arts, they say the posture breathes, breathes for you. So as I, for instance, as I do this mo motion, my chest cavity naturally opens up. My, uh, my diaphragm opens and I, the breath comes in. Now as I lower, the, breath is, the body compresses, breath naturally flows out. So the posture is breathing for me. I'm not trying to force my breath or control my breathing in, in any way. When you do this, this means that you're not ever compacting the breath in either end. At the start, when we first start to train, our acuity for our movement versus our breath is not that good. So we might hold our breath a little as we're opening, which will create a tension. We might hold our breath a little as we compact, which again causes little micro tensions. And what we want to avoid is that, that compression micro tension. So the posture is natural and it breathes, breathes for you. Okay, uh, the body is, is conditioning the fascia and connective tissue. So um, I like to think of it like uh, pulling the, the skin of a balloon, okay, that, that is the connective tissue, okay. Inside is a relaxed muscle, okay, so although we are stretching the connective tissue around the muscle, the fascia, the, the sac that the actual muscle fibers are in, we're not actually creating any tension in the muscle. So you can think of um, 
muscle tension as an inward force. It is contractile. So when, uh, if I wanted to pull something, all of my muscles would contract to do so. The methods of Nagon tend to be extension and opening. Okay, even in closing, if I'm closing this joint, I'm actually opening the back. So it's a, it's a yin and yang pair. Um, and that opening actually just stretches the fascia and, and, and pulls it tight. Not tense, just extended and tight. Um, and that actually conditions the connective tissue and makes the body very healthy. Um, it is said that the, the uh, muscles are like a, 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 a relatively soft tissue, but the fascia is, is relatively firm. And so if you have a strong fascia network in your body, you're more um, uh, protected. Okay, you've bulletproofed your joints. So, so that's, that's that one. Uh, alignment, okay. <clears throat> Throughout the day, if we're um, hunched over or if we're like misaligned, we're gonna be using energy all the time to maintain that misalignment. Um, we'll find our mechanical advantage for that position, but we'll be creating postural uh, tensions. Those build up throughout the day, and by the end of the day, you might feel really wiped out because you've been constantly misaligned throughout the day. Nagong is a practice that will realign you so that as you go throughout your day, you maintain those alignments. You're not, you're not sort of hunched over like this at your desk. You're, you're nice and straight and, or whatever it might be. Okay, so alignment is a really, really big thing. It may seem simple, but actually it has a knock-on effect, effect throughout people's lives. And when we talk about uh, building up energy in these methods, quite often what we're actually talking about is, is holding on to what we've already got. Okay, if, if you do the methods, you train in the morning, and then you go to misalignment for the rest of the day, you're just gonna lose all of that energy from the practice because you're now fighting to maintain a poor posture. So alignment is no small issue, and these specific training methods that I've selected out of the internal arts will really help to realign and get your posture correct.